Hey, I'm JT. Welcome to my channel. I've been playing Skyrim for years. I started with Legendary Edition on Xbox 360. I was having a great old time when one day I came across a video on YouTube. The video was for Real Vision ENB. My mind was blown. I was flabbergasted. I instantly became dissatisfied with my console Skyrim experience. I immediately went to the Real Vision EMB Nexus page, saw the long list of recommended mods, and then spent loads of cash building a gaming PC. I haven't looked back since. Well, since then, I have only played through Skyrim once. Yet, I have close to uh, 3,000 hours played on Skyrim Legendary Edition, 466 hours on Special Edition, and about 374 hours in VR. Um, how is this possible? Well, you guessed it. Modding Skyrim. Modding Skyrim a lot. Modding itself became a hobby in its own right. I love sifting through and reading about all the mods that were steadily being released by so many talented mod makers. So, with this video, I'm releasing my Skyrim modding series on my new YouTube channel, JT's Gaming Fetish. I want to treat this series as a how to mod Skyrim series and hopefully teach people how to mod. I don't want to just list and highlight my favorite mods, I want to empower people to read up on and reinstall whatever mods they want, and then be able to get them to work well together in a stable playthrough. I am of the belief that the act of doing something is the best way to learn something. So I structured this series around Lexi's Legacy of the Dragon Board mod guide. This guide is the most comprehensive and thorough crash course on learning how to mod Skyrim, and it introduces you to the most valuable tools to work with like SSE Edit, Loot, Mod Organizer 2, among others. Um, at this point, I want to give a shout out to Phoenix Sunstar 001. He has already produced a video series on how to install Lexi's guide. I didn't learn about his series until I was already deep into producing mine, so check out his channel. He does a great job, and if you prefer his guide to mine, then so be it. Anything that brings more attention to Lexi and company is a good thing in my book. However, I don't feel that this makes my series redundant. There are things I want to do that extends beyond Lexi's guide. Things like how to add and remove mods from Lexi's guide safely, how to remove records and master dependencies from her conflict resolution patches, or how to remove mod records and dependencies from other patches. And inversely, how to create custom conflict resolution patches to incorporate other mods to make them safe or compatible with the rest of the guide. I also want to teach people how to conform Lexi's guide to work smoothly in my favorite, Skyrim VR. So having my own series on Lexi's guide, I feel, is a good to have just to encapsulate everything in a more controlled setting. So, if you're on board, then I think I also need to preface something else. I mentioned how modding in itself has become a hobby of mine. I think that is the right mindset to have. Lexi's guide is very extensive and will take time. So if you just want to slap together a quick mod loadout and play the game, well, you may want to look into Wabajack and its many offerings. You should treat this guide like adult Legos. Read the instructions and fit the pieces together little by little until you've created something beautiful. So enjoy the ride. For me, the act of modding is fun all by itself. Also, it's stated in Lexi's guide several times and I want to reiterate it here. Do not deviate from the guide. If you've been modding for a while, there is no doubt you have your favorite mod you want to incorporate. Please don't do this. There will also probably be mods in this guide that are not to your liking. Please do not omit them. Install the guide completely before you start changing things. Deviating from the guide will most likely lead to system instability and crash to desktop, if not just outright breaking something. I will have videos to show you how to do these things in the safest way to keep your Skyrim playthrough as stable as possible. So having said that, let's take your attention to the bottom of the introduction page of Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn. And we'll here we'll see Lexi's system specs. Uh, it's stated here they are not minimum specs listed, just a point of reference for what is being used uh, by Lexi to test this guide. But in my opinion, I think it's safe to say that these should be uh, recommended specs, or you should be in the ballpark here. If you're good with that, I give you my series. Sit back, put on some tunes, get a yummy beverage, and I will meet you on Lexi's prerequisite page in the next video. See you there.